Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be covering a high growth financial services company that's operating down in Brazil. Their name is Stoneco. It is a fast rising stock. Over the last two days, it's up over 13%. Year to date, it's up over 50%. So it's just a really interesting company. I want to evaluate the company, share with you why I began to invest. And if I'm going to continue to buy more shares, if I'm just going to hold my shares or if I'm going to sell my shares in Stoneco. The process I like to follow in all my investments is to take an investment through four questions and then make a decision whether I need to uh, buy more shares, hold or sell. The first question is really think about the company and determine if I want to be an, an investor in that company. Am I interested in that industry? Do I believe the industry has got some advantages compared to other industries? and make a decision around the company. I need to be able to understand the company and be able to make a good decision. Uh, decisions around, is the company in a good place? Do they have good barriers of entry? Can they uh, make a lot of money? Can they generate a lot of free cash? So those are the questions I ask around the company and the industry. Next, is their management doing a great job? Is their management operating and performing well? Is debt in control and is their balance sheet in good shape? And I want a discount on the stock. I don't invest just for fun, I invest to make money. And uh, making money is fun, by the way. But I wanna know that I get a discount on this stock and over time, I could expect that the stock price is going to go up. Based on the answers to those questions, I then make a decision whether I wanna buy, hold or sell these shares. What's the story on Stone Co? And do I believe in it? And do I wanna be a part of it? So Stone Co. provides financial technology solutions, and you would see their solutions transacting credit cards, giving small businesses in Brazil the ability to accept credit cards and other forms of payment. This is a fast growth business because Brazil is a big, big country. A lot of small businesses are using Stone Co. and many more are signing up. How do I understand the business? Well, they're very similar to PayPal. I've owned PayPal and similar companies for a long time. I understand what their business is. It's a, a lucrative business where, you know, as people buy things in person, online, over the phone, and they use their credit cards, you know, PayPal, uh, or in this case, Stone Co., they're making money. They're not having to manufacture a product and then sell it to a customer. They're really providing a service and um, making money as the, the companies uh, transact with their customers. So I understand the business. It's a lucrative business. Uh, if you look at the valuations of Visa, MasterCard, uh, PayPal, those are hundreds of billions of dollars each in valuation. And Stone Co. could really grow to be the PayPal down in South America or the Visa down in South America. So that's why I like the story on Stone Co. I believe in it, understand it, and really want to be a part of it. Let's take a look at their balance sheet. So the company does have a good amount of cash and investments on their balance sheet and it actually exceeds the total debt that they have. So it goes to show that they have a good balance sheet. The growth over the four year period is 344%. So just great growth from the company. Looking at their most current year, if you look at the first quarter of 2022 compared it to the first quarter of 2023, we've got 32% growth, which is really good and they are profitable. Let's take a look at earnings per share. So I'm gonna start at the top here. As you can see, the green line represents the stock price and it's been going down if you compare it to a year ago. It was really flying high, they're growing really fast. But in 2022, a lot of stocks were taken down. For example, Meta. Meta is up more than 160% if you compare year over year. And the reason for it is that in 2022, the stock market just thought, hey, Meta is way overpriced and it just crushed the stock price. But now it's up more than 160%. So a lot of stocks were hit. And that's Meta, a very well-known company. Stone Co is a very small company, very little known. So I think the stock price is really pushed down just because there was a lot of fear in 2022 of tech stocks. And I think that it offers up a, an opportunity if the valuation is there to buy into a high growth company. Over the last five, six quarters, they've exceeded the expectations that the market had on their earnings per share. So it's good to see that these guys are really uh, 
over overachieving based on the expectations of Wall Street. When we look at their earnings per share, this is in the Brazilian currency. So to converting that to US dollars, they're making about 80 cents per share. And that's a really low stock price. So it's, it's a really good earnings per share for this company. They're expected to do even better next year. The PE that I'm gonna use in the valuation that you'll see in a few slides is gonna be, uh, the PE is gonna be 40 and that's the industry average. I'm comfortable with 40 because it's a high growth company. And uh, when you're growing at the rate that they're growing, I think 40 is probably a conservative PE. Moving to the statement of cash flows, the good news is this company produces free cash flow, produces positive cash flow. And this is uh, their, their cash flow, and this is in the Brazilian currency minus CapEx. And if I convert that to US dollars, they produced $173.9 million of free cash flow in the most current quarter. Just in a quarter, they produced that cash flow. And if I compare it to the quarter, of the previous year, Q1 of 2022, uh, back then they had $138 million of free cash flow. So it's up about 25% if you compare the first quarter of last year to the most current quarter this year. It's up 25%, which is great growth and free cash flow. Let me go over my valuation of Stone Co. I use two methods. I'm going to discount the free cash flows that I expect in the company. And I'm also going to use the earnings per share. Let me go over free cash flows first. First, I'm going to use a weighted average cost of capital of 13%. That's a very high weighted average cost of capital. And the reason for it is this is a company in Brazil and this is a small company. So it's a riskier investment. I'm going to take 2022 and increase 2022 by 20% as the starting point. Again, they were growing their, their free cash flows by 25%, but I'm going to go with a little more conservative rate. And that would give me a $318 million run rate on first year. I'm going to grow those cash flows by 20% in years two through four. Then after that at 5%. The company, the cash flows would be valued at about $5.1 billion. And I'm going to add the cash they have on their balance sheet and take away the debt they have on their balance sheet, which will give me an equity value in the company of $5.4 billion but their market cap currently is only 4 billion. It offers up a nice discount. If we look at the intrinsic value per share is $16.44, but they're trading at 1270. So a nice little discount based on free cash flows of 29%. If we look at earnings per share, I use the most current earnings per share uh, value and really took that at, against a 40 PE. And it gives me a value based on earnings per share of $25.20. Compare that to their stock price, it's about a 98% discount. Now I like to blend the two and I'm using uh, two parts, uh, free cash flow method, one part earnings per share. And I get to a 52% discount on the stock currently on Stone Co. So it's a pretty attractive discount still, even though they've gone up, a, their stock price has gone up a lot this year. It's still in my, uh, based on my calculations, trading at a discount. So Stone Co's stock price is up 50% year to date, which is a great rise, no matter how you look at it. And as mentioned in the previous slide, I think it still might have a little more room to go. Uh, specifically over the last two days, it's up over 13%, which is really fun to watch. The year-to-day performance from Stone Co. from a stock price valuation is great. It's great to have in the portfolio. Profits are increasing in the company. Positive free cash flows that are growing at 25%. It's just good stuff coming out of this little company. The balance sheet is in good condition. So their performance, the management is doing a good job managing this company. I expect that the company is going to continue to grow in 2023, be profitable, and keep generating those free cash flows. Stock price, I expect, will continue to increase, especially if they keep beating earnings. The stock market is just going to really like this little company. And I, over the long haul, I just expect an upward rise in revenue, profit, and free cash flow. It's an international play, which means that I get to invest in Brazil. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing because, you know, it, I have few opportunities to invest outside the United States. And this is one that I'd like to take advantage of. Their earnings is on August 16th. I'll be definitely watching the, the earnings and seeing how they perform. 
So let's scorecard Stone Co. So first, I want to be a part of this company. I understand their business. I believe in their business. I think it's a very profitable cash generating business that's going to be worth a lot more in the future. I like the industry and I like that they're located in Brazil. It's operated very well. I think their management's doing great, especially beating earnings. Their debt is under control. Their balance sheet's in good shape. You're getting a discount on this stock. So I am going to be buying more shares of Stone Co. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it interesting. Keep in mind, everything that I do is just sharing my experience as an investor. I'm an investor in Stone Co., but by no means am I recommending you buy Stone Co. stock or any other stock. Good luck investing in 2023.